You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, hope you're all doing well. Got another vintage collection action figure review. This one, it's a re-release. Um, VC-158 Luke Skywalker X-Wing Pilot. This is one I passed on in its first release because I did get it in the three-pack that was released in the vintage collection uh, some years ago. Um, you know, there's 158. We're, we're almost double that now, I think. Um, yeah, it came in a three-pack with Stormtrooper, Disguised Luke, and Jedi Knight Luke. So I decided to pick this one up, and um, what Hasbro's done with this card is they've changed it up. They've they've dropped the warning logo down to the bottom, so that the Hildebrand Brothers um, artwork can be you know fully on display up in that top corner, which is a nice harken back to the uh, to the vintage card. Um, doesn't appear to be too much different, but we'll do a comparison at the end with the uh, with the three pack version. And there we have. This very version. There's a picture on the card. A little bit of a little bit of a ride up there. Nothing too special going on there. All the bits and pieces, barcodes, labels, warnings, etc. There's Luke on the card. Does look nice. I probably didn't need to get another one, but it was available. It looked nice. So I thought, why not? Why not take a look? I can always use the other, old, the older one for a, uh, a different pilot, do a bit of head swapping or something. So yeah, let's bust this one open and have a look. All right, here is X-Wing Luke out of the packaging. As always, we'll take a look at the accessories, the paint applications, the articulation. We'll do a peg test, and at the end, we'll do a bit of a comparison. There's not much between the two, so I've got it sitting right here next to me. So yeah, let's get along with the uh, accessories. So he does come with his helmet, which is which is nice, nicely cleanly painted, cast in a sort of the sort of the clear yellow plastic, which is which is fine, does what it needs to do. And then obviously the uh, paint applications go over the top. All done digitally these days, so there it's nice and clean. You know, for this scale, it's such minute little details. But it does look good. So I think, I think my purpose of this Luke is, you know, eventually I'd like to get the Luke Skywalker X-Wing. Um, back when that was last released, the vintage collection version, I chose between that and Poe's. And uh, I, I obviously went for Poe Dameron's X-Wing. So I'd love to get a hold of Luke's X-Wing. And uh, yeah, have have this one with a helmet on. I reckon that'd be cool, having him in the cockpit. We do get his teeny tiny little Rebel Blaster here, which is cool. He doesn't have anywhere to holster it or anything. That's just, you know, it doesn't matter. You can have it in his hand. So yeah, that's pretty much it for your accessories. Doesn't really need any more than that. I mean, you, know, you probably could have included a lightsaber, but considering, you know, you see Luke in this outfit not using a lightsaber most of the time, <laughs> well, he doesn't. So you don't really need to include the lightsaber, but yeah, most of us have probably got enough spares. If you wanted to give him one, you could do that and have a look at a bit of a side mission, Luke. So yeah, we'll get a good close-up look, I think. And the head sculpt looks pretty damn good. It's no no different to the original. I don't think the paint's been updated either. But cleanly applied. And you can sort of see the, the blonde on the hair. A little bit of dotty. You know, you can sort of see that digital that sort of digital paint texture there on the head. Sometimes it works, you know, we're looking at this really, really close up from a distance on the shelf, but you, you can't tell. So that it's not a it's not a a 
downside to the figure at all. But I think that's a pretty, pretty damn good likeness. You know, it's, it's always been tricky for Hasbro to nail Luke. I think they're finally getting it now. I think some of the, uh, like the Mandalorian versions of Luke Skywalker have been particularly good. We'll go down the chest. All those paint apps are nice and clean. That's sort of the black strap on. On this, off to the side a little bit, but again, you know, this is so small. A tiny little bit of overhanging plastic there. It's not a, not complaining that it will just pick off with some tweezers. Little silver details on the arms there, which is good. It's those little paint details that, you know, just add that little bit of extra depth to these figures. Particularly in this scale, which is nice. And again, the sort of the strap there around the leg. Those tiny little silver, very minute details. You know, could be tempted to sort of touch up the top of that boot with a sharpie or something as well. And there is a little bit of a little bit of scuffing that's come off the front of that boot. So I may, yeah, just get a black sharpie and just just tidy those boots up. Just that fraction is. It's not even anything to complain about. It's just, yeah, it's just part of, you know, something that's produced in a factory. You know, you're going to have little blemishes every now and then. Even so on the glove, just where my nail is there, which I do need to cut. Um, <laughs> there's a little orange stripe with the paint sort of come through on each of the gloves. But again, not a big dealio there. Yeah, around the back. Yeah, paint application is nice and clean all over, which is great. Go through the articulation. He's got the, uh, the the double ball joint in the head and neck there, which is nice. Got the ball hinges in the shoulders, in ball hinges in the knee, in the elbows, the arm knees, <laughs> elbows, ball hinges in the wrists. This one on his left hand is an in and out hinge, and on his right arm is a up and down hinge and a swivel in there as well we've got the uh, torso joint there nice and clean we do have the ball hinge in the thighs we've got the swivel at the top of the thigh there too ball hinge in the knee hinge in the ankles this is a little bit tight no rocker joint on these ones which is good They're not a doesn't Need to be there all the time. Yeah, I'm not going to bend those joints. They're a little bit... No, that one's okay. The other one's just a little bit stiff. So you do get that hinge and then just the swivel there. So that's fine. Let's take a look at this. See how this helmet fits on Luke. And uh, then we'll go for a little bit of a comparison. So it sits on nicely. It looks good. You'll probably just shuffle that over just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, a lot that they do cast it in that sort of clear plastic. They've been doing it for years, um, being able to sort of see the, the figure's eyes through the lens. It looks good. Fits nicely. Will pop off easily, which is what you want. And last but not least, we'll go for a peg test, and then we'll check him out next to the original version. So yeah, we've got the uh, Kessel Run action figure stand here. We'll go for this sort of medium-sized peg, which is pretty much designed for vintage collection. There we go. So that fits on nicely. You just put the foot over that other peg there in the middle if you can. You can give him a bit of a wider stance. But yeah, stands up nicely on the stands. 
And again, if we get a little bit of a running pose going, let's see if we can pose him up a little bit. Just to sort of display, show you how the stand will sort of hold this guy in a good pose. I'm not going to go overboard, but there we go. It holds very, very nicely, which is fantastic. So yeah, so let's do a little side by side between the three pack release, which I don't think was any different anyway. Um, yeah, I think the the oranges are pretty much the same. Not much between them, if there are any differences. Yeah, again, the head sculpts are the are the same. I think on the old one here, his eyes are just printed just off to the side a little bit. It looks like he's doing a little bit of a side glance. But otherwise, there's no difference whatsoever with these two figures. So, But a great figure, you know, I think an X-Wing pilot look is an essential to anyone's collection. And iconic. Looks good. Uh, yeah, we haven't really had many other X-Wing pilots since. I thought they may have got a little bit more use out of this body, but they obviously haven't. I'm not thinking of any at the top of my head anyway. But yeah, please drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Love to hear your thoughts. We'll see you again for some more reviews very, very shortly. Got some more figures on the way, which is exciting. Thank you very much for watching. Till my next one, may the force be with you always.